everybody and welcome to today's video. So this is going to be reseeding part two. So we're currently on the 390 and we've got, oh, this is where you're going, we've got the disc arrows on the back. So hopefully you've seen me, oh, a bit rough line. Hopefully you've seen the uh, tractor tour video of this tractor. Well, no, something else is going. Um, maybe having your clip there is not a good idea. We are currently, I'm not sure how well you can actually see me there. Anyway, we're going to the field now. We've just put the disc arrows on, fueled up, reached around. And yeah, we're going to go and do a bit of disc My dad's over there now plowing. It is currently raining hard. So you can just make him out there in the distance and we stop the windscreen wiper. He's just there in the distance now ploughing with a 550. This is what he's already ploughed. So we're just going to see if we can disc some of this. So you can see all the furrow lines now in front of me, hopefully. And what we're doing is trying to break it up. So those discs spin. previous run if that makes sense so the middle of the harrows is going down the outside bit of where the harrows were so just so it's spreading it a bit easier it's all kind of just break them fog up but yeah that's what we're on with so it's all getting two passes so it's just taking me a little bit longer See the milk cows are in the field below us, grazing away. It is really rainy. Well, it's like a damp rain now, but it was like a really heavy rain. It's end at runs. So just lift, lift it up there, do a turn, and then we'll go for fresh bit now. So we'll set off here. So we'll drop the disc down. One of the reasons I'm doing that as well is because this tractor is only two wheel dry, it's not, the back wheels are digging in as I go uphill. So it's all about trying to work it to suit the ground conditions. And at the minute, oh, where are you? There you are. So at the minute, uh, I'm driving on the drier soil going up the field. The wheels aren't digging in as much, just so it's 
giving it a nice uh, seed bed. This is going to be disc several times over the next few days. Well, top rim now with the plough anyway, so see my visual line there where I've done. And then that the darker bits where he's, uh, me and my dad's already ploughed today. So I think I'll probably do two or three more runs up the fields on that fresh bit that's not been touched yet. And then I'll swing over and go on to the other side while he ploughs the rest.
Hello everybody and welcome back. So this is uh, three days after we started disking this field because we've had two days of heavy rain then yesterday we managed to finish ploughing it and then uh, we dissed it as well but I didn't video any of that but we had finished ploughing it yesterday we've dissed it all but it's still got all these clunks that need breaking up so clunks like that just all there's basically the clod in the soil all the dead bits of grass now all need breaking up so fun fact for you this field's actually reseeded last in 1976 uh, a lot of farmers will know that that was a drought year it was very famous for being very dry that year but the spring of that year this field was ploughed then and kale was put in it then after kale that back end of that year it had grass put back in it so yeah it's a bit it's a long overdue a reseed we have got fields on this farm that have never been reseeded before so it's not it's not by far an old the oldest lay we've got but it were ready for doing plus it's a handy size field to do so what i've just done is we've come with a 390 in the disc errors we're going to disc it all again we're not only we're going to go up and down it we're going to go across it sideways we're going to go corner to corner we're going to this this is going to be discard so discs harrows have, have gone out of fashion really because they don't break up the soil very well quick enough if that makes sense so power harrows are a most com more common thing out there and rotivators and a power arrow and a rotavator do a very similar -ish job where the it's like a, a spinning rotor with a load of blades on and it chops the soil up this this you've got to do several passes to get a good a, as good a finish so not many people use disc arrows anymore but we don't have a set we don't have our own power arrow so but we've got disc arrows so we'll use the disc arrows just say it's having to get someone come and power arrow it for us uh so yeah we'll dip we're gonna disc it a couple of times get it broken up then hopefully it really wants another day i think to dry up to get on with a slurry tanker and we'll slurry it so i'll do that in a separate video and then they'll disc a couple more times after that and then we'll seed it and roll it so what we should have done is we should have rolled it after ploughing it that's what you should do but because it's been so wet we thought we'll abandon that we'll we'll leave it as it is just because we think the roller would get stuck and make a mess it's all right rolling it when it's dry but when it's been so wet not a good idea with a roller so for now we're going to disc it slurry it disc it again so it were grass seed and then it'll get rolled so We'll crack on now.
it at that for the disc gathering and ploughing video. It's going to be disc a lot more than that, but I don't want to bore you with discing because it's going to get boring eventually. So, me, my brother and my dad are going to take it in turns discing because, well, I've just spent two, two and a half hours discing that field and I've got my back in now. You know, back's feeling it now, going up and down all them bumps. But it, was, it does get better, but at the same time it'll get drier and it'll get dustier, so... But anyway, I'll leave it here. The next video you'll have uh, will be of... Um, hopefully, putting slurry on that field. All being well. But for now... But for now... Hope you've enjoyed it. If you have done, give it a thumbs up. Uh, anything you want videoing? Hang on, that was... There we go. Camera looks a bit mucky then. I don't want to. to you don't want you looking at me through a dirty lens, but. But for now, if you've enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think of this in the comments below. And. What any videos requesting, also comment. I do enjoy reading the comments and if you haven't already done so subscribe as well and you'll see more out with like videos like this but thank you for watching i'll see you in my next one see ya